In Visual Studio 2008, the Class Designer feature now supports the C++ language. However, it only supports it in a read-only fashion. That is, you can create a class diagram from C++ code, but you cannot generate code from a class diagram. Let's take a look. We'll start by opening an existing project, which is an MFC application project. And we've got multiple options now on how to generate a class diagram. We can create one for the entire project, or for any file, or any class or set of classes. Let's start with one for the entire project. We click the View Class Diagram button in Solution Explorer with the project node selected, and we get a class diagram that shows the entire project. However, perhaps that's not what we wanted. Maybe we wanted a class diagram that just had specific classes, say from foo.h. Again, select foo.h in Solution Explorer and click the View Class Diagram button. Now you can see we just get the classes that came from that file. Perhaps we wanted to drag additional classes onto this diagram. We could do that by going to Class View and doing exactly that. When you have classes that are from a uh, library such as MFC, or derived from classes in that, their base classes won't be shown by default. But if we right click, we can choose Show Base Classes, and then we'll go ahead and see them. Now we can modify this diagram any way we want by dragging things around. We can also add our own comments by dragging a comment from the class designer to wherever we want it to show up on the design surface, like so. We can type whatever we want into that comment, and it'll show up something like a yellow post-it note. As you can see, class diagrams can be extremely useful for diagramming and describing class hierarchies, as well as documenting code. And that's all there is to it.